Uh, damn it, man. Whew. A lot of stuff went on today. A lot of stuff went on today. A lot of surprising stuff went on today. I mean, it was a lot of surprises. A lot of surprises, man. Woo! <laughs> Woo! It's real. It's real, y'all. It's really real. Ah, uh, well, let's get ready. Let's get ready for this commentary, y'all. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Lockout Man here, back again with another video, with another subscriber question, uh, comments, uh, commentary for you guys tonight. Yes, uh, I am your host, Lockout Man. Welcome to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. That is what's up. That is what's up. We're just going to jump right into it, man. I mean, it's um, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, of course, you know, in the in the Facebook groups, I, I read a lot of I read a lot of comments, a lot of posts. I post and, uh, you know, comments and all that good stuff. But this one comes from well, let's let's put it to you this way. I go on YouTube today. And well, before I go into YouTube, you know, of course, one of my subscribers sent me uh, sent me an email. It's like, yo, lockout man, did did you see what's going on YouTube right now? It's like, nah, man, you know, you know, it's all this, it's all the same, it's all the same stuff that's going on YouTube, you know. It, it's all the same, nothing new, you know. But what's what's going on? He was like, yo, um, there was a YouTuber. And uh and yeah, just just go check it out. So I go check it out and I was like, whoa. Wow. Man. But enough of this, uh enough of that. You know, um, just let's just say that I was I was surprised at what I saw. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that 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 uh, that I that I want to touch on. And it was also, you know, something that, you know, something that you guys uh, touched on with me back in the day as well. I remember getting a comment. And. um and you guys kept asking me, y'all lockout men, what company you drive for? Who do you drive for? Where do you drive for? Who do you, where, where, where the company you drive for is out of? And I remember saying that uh, after, after JNR Swoogle, I wasn't gonna mention the current company that I was going to drive for. Only a select few at that time knew who I drove for. And back then it was Wooster Motorways because I did do a video the day that I went into Wooster Motorways. I did do a video that day. And that's when I said that this was going to be the first and last time that I was going to mention the company. And then ever since then, I mean, I got email, I got DMs, I got I, I got comments like, yo, who you work for, who you drive for, who you drive for, who you work for. And at that time, my particular reason for not mentioning who I drive for was because, number one, it was a local company. Number two, I wasn't promoting the company. And number three, number three is that some of you guys and not not to say all of you guys but there's just some of the people out here that just don't want to see us succeed 
lockout man what do you mean by that what, what do you mean they we don't want to see you succeed well there's just way too many people that just want to mess up your livelihood and I, I, I don't understand. I, I don't understand that. I really don't. I don't. I don't understand that. Now, the first reason of me not telling you guys about who I drove for at that time and and up until now is because the first reason is, you know, it was a local company. So what was the point of telling you who I drive for if I wasn't promoting the company only hires within a certain radius so it wasn't no point in even telling you who I drive for number two is that I wasn't promoting the company you know not like I did with U.S. Express and J.N.R. Schwugel now mind you I made money from both of them you know I made money not as much money from U.S. Express you know, because when people saw my videos with U.S. Express and they jumped on there, U.S. Express at that time didn't even know who Lockout Man was. You know, everybody kept telling them like, yo, um, it was like, yo, who, 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 how did you hear of us? Hey, it's some guy on YouTube named Lockout Man. Who? Yeah, some guy, you know, he wears a lot of hats. And nobody never, nobody never knew who, 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 who I was. They seen the videos, they seen the videos, but they never, they never put my name with my name to give me my referral bonus. Up until I started saying, here's my referral code. Because see, with US Express, you have to give a code. They don't know your name. You have to give your driver code. Hey, uh, make sure you put my driver code such and such, such and such when you let them know. And a lot of people ain't going to remember that shit. <laughs> I mean, for real, for real. Nobody ain't going to. They going to call up. They, they going to call up U.S. Express and be like, yo, um, yeah, driver code such and such, such and such said, you know, to use him as a referral. They know the name. They know the name. They don't know the code. They know the name. So they call him up and say, yo, uh, Lockout Men said, you know, that the company's good, yada, yada, yada. And they don't know who Lockout Men is. But I, 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 I did get a few dollars, a few, from U.S. Express. But when I started talking about J&R Schwugel, they knew me by name. And... They knew the videos and they knew who I looked like. So when Katie went to the video and she saw me talking about it, I got the call from her and she was like, yo, lockout men. It's like, yeah, what's up? She was like, yo, I, I got some good news for you. I was like, what's up? Um, we got about three people off your refer I mean uh we get we got three people that came in just off of your videos and I'm gonna hook you up with the referral bonus. Now mind you fifteen hundred dollars a piece forty five hundred dollars forty five hundred dollars now out of the three two stayed which gave me my three thousand and then the other one stayed for like the two so that gave me my gave me about four about four thousand dollars didn't get my five because you know old boy bounced out before the 90 day period was up i was like okay hell yeah and then all of a sudden more people started calling in like yo this lockout man guy you know because i started talking about him in the zello groups i started talking about him in uh in 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 the facebook groups I started, you know, of course, my videos was popular. You type in J&R Shrugan and there I am. I pop up everywhere. So, yeah. Again, y'all know the story. It came to the point that they started paying me directly. But then after that, after I left J&R Shrugan, it wasn't no point of me promoting any companies after that because, of course, you get smarter when... You know, you, you try to level up. 
and you see all these companies posting in Facebook groups, Instagram, and all sorts of places, that's a budget. That's an advertising budget. Why not give some of that advertising budget to your driver? Not just for the referral bonus, because this is the new millennial. Almost every driver that you have, nine times out of 10, they got a YouTube page. Nine times out of 10, they got a Facebook page. You know, if a driver just so happens that I, you know, drive for US Express, JNR Schugel, you know what I'm saying? You know, why not, why, why not just, you know, give that driver a piece of the pie? Yo, drivers is basically going to get, it's, it's going to get more influence out there because when people come into the trucking game, the first place they're going to run to is YouTube. They're going to see, they're going to see a driver talking about, talking about the trucking company that they drive for. And of course they would get that referral bonus. They'll get like one, two, three, four, five, and they'll get that referral bonus, you know, but why not kick out that advertising? I'm just saying. Why not kick that out a little bit? Kick, kick out a little bit more. Like, yo, we see your we, we see your page, your influencer, you doing the damn thing. Here's a little bit more money to, you know, talk about J and R Schwoga. Here's a little bit more money to talk about Prime. Here's a little bit more money to talk about US Express. And that's the, the, and that's one of the reasons why I don't promote the company because again. I'm not getting paid the advertising budget. But then another reason, another reason, you got so many people out here that, that want to see you, I don't know, they, they, they want to see your downfall. That's drama, that's content, right? They want to see your downfall. They don't, they don't want to see you come up well, they do want to see you come up, but, you know, your downfall. You know, you got um, you got content creators out here that's that's afraid now to tell people where they actually drive for. Like if they currently drive for a company and you turn around and say, hey, you know, who do you drive for? Oh, well, you know, I drove for such and such and such and such, you know. Well, you, you got that one person or two that's probably sitting somewhere that don't like your content or that don't like what you say and they, and, and they turn around and call your company. Hey, um, we, we, we don't like what this content creator said, you know, so we, we just want to call you and let you know that you know, the, the, the content creator is, is, is talking about somebody or derogatory or whatever, whatever. I mean, there's a lot of content creators that can attest to somebody calling their company. My man, Guilty718, he got a video up that somebody called his company and complained about him being in the car with his, with his daughter and they didn't like the way how he talked. The man was in his personal vehicle with his daughter on his time. What that got to do with the company? What that, what that got to do with, 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 with somebody calling this company saying, hey, you know, I, I don't like what he said about, I don't like how he was just, you know, cussing and whatever, whatever in front of his daughter. They ain't right. Let's talk about Trucker Jim. I, I had him on my show uh, a while back. Make sure you guys check that out. Somebody called, you know, he, he, he said in his video that somebody called his company because he did a video, he, he, he did a, a video, you know, while driving. 
and somebody called his company saying, yo, there's a video that, you know, he was driving and all like that, and I don't think that's safe. So, of course, the company made him take the video down. You know, he was like, yo, you know, let's take the video down, whatever, whatever, you know. It happened to me, U.S. Express, you know. Somebody sent that, somebody, somebody, either somebody called or sent them the video when I did the, the video on the driver tech. Because, of course, like I said, nobody ain't know who Lockout Men was. They ain't even knew my name when I was making videos. I was making videos since day one at U.S. Express. And, and, and the fleet manager at the time, like, yo, I didn't know you did YouTube videos. Of course I did. I, I did it since day one when I got here. Uh, okay, okay, well, safety want to talk to you about something. I'm like, oh, what, what, what they want to talk about? What, what, I, don't, I don't know. I, I never had an issue with safety. What y'all want to talk about? So we get in there, we go, and safety goes like, yo, you did a video on uh, the driver tech, yada, 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 one and out. Okay, done. See, at that time, I didn't put two and two together like I'm putting two and two together now. I mean, that's about six years ago. Lesson learned. Okay. My girl, Dow Face Trucker. Martin. I believe it was Martin. I got to call her up and ask her if it was Martin. I got to see if I got to call her up. We, we got to actually me and Dow Face. We really got to we really got to uh, follow up, you know, I, I got to see what my girl doing. So I, I'll bring her back on the show. We'll probably touch on all of that. But somebody called in on her like, yo, uh, you know, can you take all, you know, can you, you know, can you take all the videos down? Let's talk about queen trucking. Now, her situation wasn't the fact that somebody called in. It was the fact that Prime called her to take all of the Prime stuff off her videos. See, a lot of us has, uh, uh, this is our, let, let me just revert it back. Let me rewind it back a little bit. This is, this is our livelihood out here. Why you, why you guys want to mess with our livelihoods, man? Just because you don't like how we look, how we sound, what we say. This is YouTube, man. I mean, come on. This is YouTube, man. I mean, really? Is that serious for you guys? Is it that serious if somebody say something that you don't like? Is that serious for you to play Batman to find out where that guy work at and 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 trying to mess up his livelihood? Hey, um such and such said something such such and such and something this, that, and the third, and such and such and and I don't like it or whatever, whatever. And then all of a sudden, ring, I'm, I'm sleep. Ring, ring, wait, hold up. Ring, ring, hold up. Ring, ring, Oh, hello. Uh, yes, this is a uh, safety calling. Uh, okay, what, what I do? Because when safety calls, it's never a good reason. I always say that, you know, it's never. Trust me, JNR Swoogle. Safety calls you, never a good reason. Uh, what's going on? Hey, um, don't you got a video up of you over here uh cussing and 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 all like that in our truck? Uh what video are you referring to? I, I don't know. It's the latest video that you got and you was in there cussing, helping and hollering and talking about somebody or whatever, whatever. Yeah, we, we want you to take that down. Uh, it's my YouTube page. Why? I, I'm not taking that down. You, you don't own that. So, okay. So here it is. You don't take it down. We're going to have to let you go. 
Wow. Are you serious? Uh yeah, yeah. You you gotta you guys gotta understand that this is uh I think it's act it, it's it's something. This ain't union. This is an at will employment. You can leave anytime you want to. They can get rid of you anytime they want to. You can leave whatever reason you want to. They can get rid of you for whatever they want to. They don't have to, like back in the day, they really had to have a reason to get rid of you. Now, with so many drivers that's coming in, they don't need no reason. They can abandon you right there, right then and there. Like, yo, uh, we, we done. We want you out of our truck. Oh, man, I ain't getting out of this truck. I'm about to go home. Uh, what? Ho hold on now. Ho hold on. Okay, we got we got something for that. Okay, what, what, what you got? What you gonna do? Oh, we we got something for that. You get in the sleeper, you go to sleep, you get a. <sighs> uh, sheriff's department. Yeah, you got a couple of minutes to get up out this truck, sir. Whoa. Wait. Yeah, um, company A, B, and C says that uh, we need you to get up out this truck, sir. Wow. And, and you have no choice but to get up out the truck. What, what you going to do? You going you, you gonna to argue with the sheriff? <laughs> you can't argue with the sheriff. Argue with the sheriff, he's going to take your butt to jail. And you still hemmed up. He's still out of the truck. They'll come and event you out of this bad boy just like they can come and event you out of the house. Have all your shit packed up in all outside in the in the truck stop. Or at a rent or at or at a rest area. Have you all hemmed up right there, man? You you done. Stop it now. Stop it now. Or or what a company can do, they can, you know, you tell a company like, yo, bro, I'm about to go home. What you about to do? Yeah, I'm about to go home. Wait, wait, what? I'm about to go home. Oh, okay, we got something for that. So you pull up in a fuel station, you know, you, you low on fuel, you need to get home, you're about 500 miles away. So that's going to take like, you know, like, Eight hours, 11, eight hours, six hours, 10 hours. Going to need to fill that truck up. But when you get to that fuel station, do -do -do -do, declined. Do -do -do -do, declined. Uh, company A, B, and C, I, I, I can't seem to use my fuel car. Oh, yeah, well, um. We turned that off. Yeah, yeah. You, you you told us that you was going home and we told you that, you know, you're not you're not allowed to. So, yeah, just just park it right there. Take your shit out of the truck and uh and and we'll we'll send a driver up there later on to come and get it. Wow. That's it. You, you hang up and you don't get paid for about another couple of weeks. Like, damn, what the fuck I'm going to do? There's help, though. CDL Tears. Make sure you, CDLTears.org. Make sure you get a hold of them and see if they can uh, help you get home. Don't abandon the, uh, and you know what? Another thing too. Don't 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 abandon the don't don't abandon the truck. But that's a whole nother subject right there. But yeah, you guys, you know, watch us YouTubers, and I mean, I I understand you you I understand you guys get a liking for your favorite YouTuber. 
Uh, you guys like me, you guys like, uh, like, you know, other YouTubers across the field and all like that. You know. But why, for the love of God, mess with our livelihood? I don't get it. I don't get it. You don't like what we have to say. You don't like what we look like. We don't like you, you. You don't like what we do. Change the channel. Don't watch it. You you don't like me. You don't like other YouTubers. Don't watch them. Change. It's just like TV. YouTube is like TV now. You can change the channel. You can un subscribe you can not like why why mess with why mess with our livelihood what did we do to you oh man we i don't like what he said i i gotta he he's he's in a truck he's you know we we gotta you know we gotta get him out of the truck and now companies like 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 prime you know, every time they company get mentioned, you know, they do have a social media uh, office or whatever. Companies like JNR Shrugel now, they do have a social, because of me, they do have a social media guy that, you know, that follows social media and anybody that, uh, that tags their company in their videos. See, that's a that's another thing too. That's another thing too. Tagging companies in their videos. As you guys know that I, I all my JNR Swoogle videos are tagged. All my US Express videos are tagged. You type in US Express, you type in JNR Swoogle, boom, there it is. There's there's a video with me about them. Or there's a video of me just you know, random talking, but I, I tag them just cause, you know, but see this right here is what I tell new guys all the time, because a lot of new guys that do come into, into the trucking field, they got a YouTube page. They want to chronicle their journey hey everybody i got it you know you you know truckers such and such or or new to trucking or or trucker this that and the third i am here with company a b or c you know and i just want to chronicle my journey here's what to expect from company a b or c and then you tag that company don't do it no more don't do it no more. That's why a lot of that's why a lot of bigger, you know, that's why a lot of like, you know, new YouTubers and and YouTubers that's still, you know, that's veteran of YouTube, that's why they don't talk about their companies. I got my girl, you love India. You guys over here, like, you know, she was, you know, people in her her uh, comment section, like, yo, who you drive for right now? Who you drive for right now? No. Why? No. Mm -mm. I'm good. I'm all right. No. And again, same thing with you guys, y'all. You know, I get it. I, my, my emails is filled with guys asking me, yo, lockout man, who you drive for? You know, can I get on and all like that? Maybe I tell you, maybe I don't. But that's on a one-on-one -on -one personal level. But right here on YouTube, no, I just can't do it. I mean, not to say that I'm afraid that you guys might call in and 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 you know try to tell my company that I that I did something. I mean, my company knows that I got a YouTube page. My my fleet manager watch me all the time. But see, here's the thing. I you know, when I was with 
the companies, though, I never mention the name of my fleet manager. If you ever noticed, when I was with the company, now, now I name names because I am no longer with, the, with those companies. But when I was with U.S. Express, I never mentioned my fleet manager's name. When I was with JNR Schwugel, I never mentioned my fleet manager's name. I always go by my fleet manager. Go back. Go back in my archives. Go back in, go back in my archives and tell me any videos when I was now, not after, let me, let me make this perfectly clear, not after, during, that I mentioned my fleet manager's name. Maybe I might have slipped up when I was at U.S. Express, but I don't recall mentioning my fleet manager's name. Now, after, yes, Haley from U.S. Express, Matt from JNR Swoogle, Joe from Wooster Motorways. All right. And then Haley Part 2 from you, uh, J and R Swoogle. Let's not get the two confused. All right. Now, out of those four, one, two, three, four, out of those four, only two was awesome. That was Matt from J uh, from J and R Swoogle, and Joe for, and Joe from Rooster Motorways. Those two was awesome. Joe. Out of all four of them, the best, the best, hands down, the best, hands down. Now, my current company, uh, company, 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 okay, current company, my fleet manager, oh, we, 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 we jelling. We jelling. We vibing. Again, like I said before, you get a good rapport with your fleet manager, you're going to have a good time with the company. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But still, don't get comfortable. With the, don't, don't get comfortable, though. Don't get comfortable. All right? But before I get out of here, man, before I get out of here, I, I, I just want to say that for whatever reason, because it's real. Again, it's really real, man. I mean, there's truly people out here that's trying to mess up your livelihood just because they don't like what you have to say about somebody or, or just say period. Don't do that. Don't mess up the person's livelihood because you it, just. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. But again, um, if you ever wonder why a lot of people don't let people know where they where they drive for or who they drive for, just know that's probably the main reason why they don't mention who they drive for you know you might just get you might just one day get a call and be like yo uh yeah somebody somebody saw a video and they didn't like what you said on that video and you'll be like hmm yeah we we gonna need you to take that down what nah bro this 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 my this this, this my video you uh, no nah, this this no, nah. but if you want to continue to drive for us, yeah, you you might want to take that down. So, for any new jacks that's thinking about, you know, coming out here, hopping in the truck, doing a damn thing, and you guys want to start a YouTube page and all like that, y'all, you know, y'all, you know, y'all want to start a YouTube page and everything. My suggestions to you is to keep the company name that you're driving for 
out of <laughs> out of the YouTube unless you have an understanding with the company, then maybe you'll you'll mention the company's name. A hey, uh, company A, B, and C. Uh, I'm a YouTuber. Is it all right that I, you know, that I, you know, mention the company name or, or show some of the company's vehicle in my videos or, or you know, some of the company logos? Make sure you get that in writing. You know, because if you show a company logo or the company truck for whatever reason, that company can call you up and be like, yo, bro, um, we, we, we need you to take that logo off. Or, or, you know, the Volvo symbol is, is in, it's in the, it's, it's in the video. We, we need to take, you, you need to take that off. So make sure you, you know, you get an understanding with that company so that you could be like, yo, can I mention the company's name? Can I, can I show the, the, the trappings or anything like that? And if they say, yeah, they don't care, make sure you get it in writing and good to go. But then again, like I said, YouTube is real, so you know, you, you don't want to bad mouth the company where you at either. You know, you don't want to bad, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Like I said, this is an at will type of company. You start bad mouthing the company. Yeah, they're going to tell you right then and there. Like, Yo, bro, park that bad boy. We, we see that you don't like us. So why, why should we, why should we continue to pay? Why should we continue to pay you while you out on social media bad mouthing us? Nah, we can't have that. But then again, like I said, as far you know, just be careful. You know, just be careful. And for the people that feel some kind of way, come on now. This is our livelihood. We got family, man. We got kids, we got houses, we got cars. We got people that depend on us. Come on now. If you don't like what is said or how it's said or who is said to, change the channel. Now, again, you guys might not even like this. I might get a couple of dislikes on this. All right, but this is just my commentary. You know, this is the reason why I don't, you know, mention the company that I drive for. But there's always that one person that that's that's digging, that's digging deep. That you know, they they take part of the video that you make, they screenshot it zoom in and they just happen to see they just happen to see a couple of numbers on your truck and they'll zoom right in you know they'll, they'll take a video and they'll see a couple of letters and they'll zoom right in and be like oh that's night oh okay he drives for night and then they'll they'll zoom right in you know and another thing before we get on up out of here this trucking, this trucking spear is small. <laughs> it is small. <laughs> We're going to run into each other somewhere, somehow. We're going to get, especially if we're uh, an influencer, public figure, because, you know, we're putting ourselves out there. Somebody going to recognize me in all my hats, which people have. Yo, is that Lockout, man? Yo, Lockout, what's up? Hey, what's up, my G? What's going on? Hey, good content. Hey, thank you very much, man. Make sure you check me out. Lockoutmen. I mean, on Facebook, on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Check me out. 
I had one dude come up to the I had one dude come up to the door. I'm over here chilling, minding my own business, reading, you know, reading my texts on my phone. All of a sudden, hey, my dude, what's up? Hey, lockout men. Hey, what's up? Oh man, you know, I'm a big fan. I, you know, like your content. I said thank you. You know, thank you. I appreciate it. And I, you know. I'm I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not a celebrity. I'm not a celebrity. I'm not famous. I'm a hard working truck driver just like you're a hard working whatever you doing. I'm just like you. I get a paycheck every week. I save my money every week. Just like you. You know? I'm not you know I'm I'm not like one of these like one of these you know, big guys like Denzel Washington and all like that, like, yo, whoa, 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 sis feet, bro. Not going to charge you for, you know, taking a picture, but I learned something about taking pictures now. I I, I got finished watching a couple of videos uh, about what happened to uh, a couple of celebrities that, that took pictures with somebody and they took that picture and and kind of mold it, mesh it, and, and kind of mess it up. So be careful who you take pictures with, too. Hey, can I take a picture with you? Hey, yeah, no problem. I got it. Put it on my Facebook, Instagram, you know, another subscriber right here. But um, a lot of guys that I came across, a lot of people that I've met, you know, six years in this game. And like I said, I've been on YouTube for over 15, you know, and I, again, I just recently got serious with it. But again, you gotta also know that this for me is a hobby. It's not a business. I don't treat it as such. I like what I'm doing because I like what I'm doing. A lot of people, take what I'm doing for value and I appreciate I appreciate all of that I built this channel and I made it better for you guys and that's and I'm going to continue to do that so thank you very 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 much I really do appreciate it um, I'm thinking about doing some get backs. Um, I, I did a couple of hat giveaways uh, in the past. I gave a I gave a hat to uh, gave a hat to a couple of people. I'm gonna go and look in my collection to see you know what I'm you know what I'm wearing what I'm not wearing and you know go in my comment session pick out the pick out the person in my comment session and reach out to them and say yo bro I got a hat for you show some pre uh, appreciation show some love for for you guys that's showing me love and I appreciate it so thank you very much I really appreciate that you guys you know rock with your boy you know what I'm saying and uh I you know I'm gonna continue to continue to try to bring you good content that's what I'm going to try and do. So with that said, man, uh, again, I just wanted to say in this commentary is that don't, don't mess with a person's livelihood. All right. I mean, like if this, this, just look at it as, you know how you guys, you know how some of you guys say, yo, Trucking is like the drug game. It's a different type of drug. Just think about you messing with somebody's corner. Remember the wire? When the guys came over there and they tried to take the boys' corner and they got, you know, got into a shootout, somebody got killed. Somebody got killed because they 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 tried to take the corner. That's the same thing with messing with somebody's livelihood. Somebody could get hurt. Somebody seriously could get hurt. 
And I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I don't want I don't want nobody's livelihood to get messed up. I don't want to see that. You know, you try to you 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 try to take over that dope boy's corner. That dope boy ain't having it. That's just like you call that's just like somebody's calling into somebody's company and try to get that person or person's fired. And if that person of person just so happens to find out who you are, just think about what happened with that dude drove 1,500 miles down the way to lay hands on that cat. Think about that. All right, so if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button. Make sure you like the content. That's what's up. Yo, anybody want a hat? Hashtag hat. Hashtag hat. Uh, you have to wear a size 5'3". No. five. You have to wear a size 7'5", 8", or 7 three fourths seven three fourths or seven five eighths hashtag hat man and i'll you know i'll i'll put it in that little spinning thingy spin the wheel and see who and see who grabs a hat from the lockout man the hat fanatic Y'all like this Tom and Jerry joint? I do. I love the fuck out of this shit. I'm a huge Tom and Jerry fan. Not the movies. The cartoon. I'm a huge Tom and Jerry fan. And I love this joint right here. This is fire right here. I mean, this... Look. Just look at this. Look. Look, man. That shit fire right there. Look at that. Tom and Jerry on the back with the red brim. Right there, new era. Right there, man. Come on, come on. Look at just, just look at that. Look at the detail on the Tom and Jerry. This shit fire as fuck, dude. So of course I will wear this for the week, like I do all my hats. I will put on my, I, I will put on my, 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 uh. I would put on my baby, uh, the Mandalorian joint right here. But see, it's green, and you guys, <laughs> you guys can't tell through the green screen. Oh man, that shit looks slick as fuck, though. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that shit looks slick as fuck. I think I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna pop this. I'm gonna wear this probably. I think I'm gonna wear this probably next week. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm gonna wear this for the week. Next week. That shit. That shit is. Ah. Oh my god. But yeah, I am a huge. I. I. I have a. My collection of hats. There's this one driver I used to. I used to mess with back in the day. His his fucking hat collection is is like whoa, bro. His hat collection is crazy. Like when I met him out at um out in Minnesota, at uh at uh at it's at Lids. I don't even fuck with Lids no more. But when I met him and 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 hooked up with him, I mean through him, I was able to get some some cool hats though some some real fire you know what i'm saying some real fire hats for him you know but uh but yeah my my hat collection boop, on point all right you guys take it easy and i'm gone